Back with another Tatula Elite Rod, and this one's Randy Howell's Tatula Elite Rod. This is actually his big topwater swim bait and bladed jig rod. Randy is a master of junk fishing, running down the bank and fishing the moment, being able to capitalize on anything going on in that fishery that day and making sure he's very versatile with the baits that he can throw with his rods. So this one right here is a perfect one for throwing those big giant topwaters and bladed jigs, even swim baits. So today's uh, trends with leaning towards those more realistic looking moving baits like a swim bait, it's a perfect rod for that. Randy went a little different than a lot of the other angler traditional rods go, and I kind of learned to uh, love these rods, to be honest with you. I love the fact that it's got a shorter handle than a traditional casting rod would have. Uh, he does this, uh, because he's able to do this because the rod itself for having a regular or moderate action, it's not fiberglass. I've talked about fiberglass a lot on here and you do your own research about fiberglass. Most purists, when it comes to treble hook baits, prefer that fiberglass, but it's a little heavier, it's a little thicker. That would mean that you would wanna put a longer handle on it because they tend to be so tip heavy. Randy went with a graphite material here, uh, Daiwa's graphite, and had the rod engineers make this blank bend with a moderate action similar to a glass rod. So this thing has that long bend throughout the whole rod, but it does that while remaining light and, and also sensitive. So uh, the 7.4 medium heavy moderate action or regular in Daiwa's vernacular, Randy Howell big top water, bladed jig, swim bait rod. It's a perfect rod for any of you that are struggling to feel what's going on with those glass rods or you don't want that heavyweight rod, you wanna try something out that's a little lighter and a little bit more sensitive. Check out Randy Howell's 7.4 medium heavy, moderate or regular bend Tatula Elite rod. That's incredible. This thing does have a totally moderate action. You know what I mean? You think I'd be able to show the glass is more extreme, but this is absolutely just as moderate as any of the glass rods.